Hi Taurus, how's it going? And welcome to your December general reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Taurus, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Taurus, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Taurus, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Taurus, I love y'all so much. I hope you're all doing well. Again, this is your December general reading. We're doing a Celtic cross today. We've got one more spirit one of the best and highest messages again for Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus again this is your December general reading we are in Sagittarius season nice yes you have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck Taurus y'all are an earth sign male or female watching you have the Queen of Pentacles strong feminine Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy this is a beautiful card of I'm hearing the word worth so a lot of you could be um, like worth, deserve. You could be in a position um, at work, in your job, in your family, a relationship. I'm feeling like you deserve it. You are, you're coming into a position or a place where you deserve something. You're very grateful for what you have. Like if you have a solid family situation, if you have a great relationship, you're grateful for that. If you have a great solid career situation, whatever it is, because I kind of see her like bowing her head. Again, he or she watching. This is just more of your feminine energy being like, yes, thank goodness I have whatever it is that you do have. You, you, you are in the attitude of gratitude. Um, Queen of Swords behind you, the star card. Um, there could be a lot of like um, dialogue, conversation around you. I'm hearing expectation, um, strong air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy around you. You could be dealing with um, air signs for some of you. Um, you don't have to be. But what I'm getting behind you, Taurus, with the Queen of Swords and the Star card, a strong, like, motherly, feminine, or um, female, femme, aunt, you know, partner for some of you of, like, expectation. Like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you? Why aren't you? Kind of, like, in the background, I'm hearing, like, chatter, noise, annoyance. And you're like, ugh, that's annoying. I feel like for some of you, you're feeling like, why can't I live up to this person's expectations? Um, like someone's kind of annoying y'all <laughs> is what it feels like. And you're almost, it's almost like you, you're you seeing like, you know, a mother figure, an aunt. It doesn't have to be a female or even just someone with just a lot of like real chatty kind of bitchy kind of vibes. And you're like, wow, this person complains about this, complains about that. I wish this person was more grateful for what they had. Like for those of you, if you've been through something difficult, you're like, wow, work's been hard, but I'm grateful I have my family, something like that. And then you see someone else around you just, oh, complain about this and complain about that. And it's not only annoying and frustrating you, but you're kind of looking at this person or a group of people um, like, man, they're really in the wrong mindset. They, you're kind of seeing someone else in your experience, in your, um, in your life around you, not really appreciating something great that they have. Okay. So I kind of feel like you're, you're such like a, um, you're in a good teacher, grateful gratitude energy right now. Beautiful. All right. What's the current energy, current situation for Taurus? Ooh, see, we have the Empress. Very good. Um, this is the card of Venus. You share this card with Libra. Ah, I love this. Very beautiful. See, we have the Five of Wands. So a lot of you, again, male or female watching, you are sitting, sitting pretty, looking pretty, looking handsome. <laughs> However, um, with the Five of Wands, there is beef competition around you. Um, yeah, I feel like you're in a very good position of 
you're grateful for what you have. Um, and five of wands is a lot of people around you that are maybe not as grateful for what they have. Some people, five of wands, empress, some people could be fighting for your attention, um, wanting to partner with you in business, partner with you romantically, um, or just overall jealous of what you do have. Like if you have, you know, money, family, whatever it is, there could be people like, oh, why does Taurus have that? What's crossing Taurus, please? What's crossing you? The two of wands, there's the queen of swords showing up again. So crossing you is something that's helping you or hindering you. So a lot of you are in the, the prep stages, the planning stages of a new chapter. Two of Wands maybe moving um, locations, moving jobs, moving relationships, um, that type of thing. Queen of Swords, Star card. Yeah, some of you feel like frustrated like with where you're at in a location and a certain place where you hold um, a, a title in family. There's some type of situation where you're like, I don't know how much more of this chit chatter, um, expectation. Why aren't you doing enough? Why aren't you one for your dreams? I feel like it's like that, that, you know, when our mom or dad every once in a while is like, why aren't you doing this? I thought you were going to be like this. I thought you were going to be a doctor. I thought you were going to be a lawyer or like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that very generally speaking. I feel like you're tired of hearing about whoever that is, whatever that is. And you're almost like, I could move. I could get out of here. I don't have to live so close to my mom. I don't have to live so close to this person. Um, <laughs> like you're almost planning to dip out of something, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. What's the focus for Taurus? What's your focus right now? Three of Wands. Ooh, and the Devil. Card of Capricorn. So a lot of you have been like tolerating something. Ooh, yeah, you're getting like up to here with something. Your focus is the three of wands and the devil is there. Um, devil is again, card of Capricorn, a fellow earth friend to you. But you're kind of like with the three of wands, it's a card of procrastination, delays, that kind of thing. Like maybe you've put off Taurus a move and work, a move in a city, state, location, a move from a relationship, either to family, from family. And the longer you, you wait, you're like, I'm in devil energy. Now I'm just gonna, you know, now you're kind of upset that you've waited for so long for something or for somebody. Like I hear y'all saying like, if I stay in this relationship any longer, I'm gonna lose my mind. If I stay in this job any longer, I'm just, I'm gonna lose it, you guys. Like telling your friends or, you know, your partner or whatever. Like, ugh, like ah, I can't believe I haven't moved on from this yet. Okay, what's been in the recent past for Taurus, please? The world card and the knight of wands. So you have already closed a cycle in the recent past or tried to. Um, you closed a cycle, Knight of Wands, on a person, place, or situation that was inconsistent. Like in relationships, it looks like some of you could have been like, no, nah, I don't want to deal with that player. I don't want to deal with that, you know, that person that's in and out of my life. No, nah, I don't want to deal with that, you know. Yeah, Moon Card Magician. I feel like there was something kind of mysterious, something kind of questionable. A person that was questionable that you were dating. Um, a job situation. Something was very inconsistent in and out of your life. And you did a really good job for a lot of you world, ca world card of closing that down. Good. What's crowning you? Ooh, the king of swords with the queen of pentacles. So crowning you in your mind, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, strong in your masculine. That's good. A lot of you in your mind crowning you, you're in very strong decision-making mode. Like, you know, kicking ass and taking names. Like, in, in a good way. With the Queen of Pentacles coming back full circle of, you know what? I am doing a good job. Hey, there. I might have a little hot mess over here with my friend situation. I might have a hot mess in my, my love life or my family situation, but... I show up every day at work and my house is clean and I do my chores and I went to the gym. Like there, like you're realizing like, you know what? I am okay. I am doing I, I, I am, I am getting my due diligence, my responsibilities, 
you know, showing up at work or, you know, being a good mom, being a good dad, you are doing really, really well at so many other things. And I feel like as the king of swords in your mind, male or female watching, you're just like, yeah, like, listen to me. Like, <laughs> I'm hearing that old school meme that's like, listen, Linda. It's like that little kid in the kitchen and he's like telling his mom or his aunt Linda, I don't know. No, you listen, Linda. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, and it's hilarious. Um, but I feel like Taurus, that's you right now. You're like, no, 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 world. Y'all listen to me now. Like you're, you're stepping up and using your voice. Very good. What's in the near future for Taurus, please? Near future for Taurus. Okay, that was like three or four cards. What's in the near future for Taurus, please? Ooh, we have judgment and the four of cups. So you will feel pressured in the near future to like seriously do something about four of cups. Why you're not emotionally fulfilled. There, You're like, okay, something's missing. Someone's missing. There's like one piece of the puzzle in the near future, Taurus, where you're going to be like this is great, got my good job, or th this thing is working out, but man, it'd be cool if my friend was with me, or man, it'd be cool if this person was here with me, or, you know, like, you're gonna have some type of realization of, yeah, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, um, of wanting to fulfill a cup, like, either someone wanting to rejoin your life, you rejoining someone's life, um, or something overall that you just feel could be missing. That could be a creative um, endeavor that you return to. Because with judgment, it feels a little bit like a return. Can I see you? Can I see Taurus, please? How is Taurus showing up for December? Page of Swords, Seven of Cups. So you are emotionally shopping right now. Um, you are Page of Swords kind of keeping your conversation, your dialect, very short, very sweet. Like, hey, what's up friends? Hey, what's up? What's up coworkers? Hey boss, hey, how are you? Checking in today, what's up? Like, hey, what's up dinner, partner? Okay, cool, yeah, I'll be there. I'll, I'll, I'll make the salad, cool. Like you're just, you know, you're just keeping it like short and sweet, seven of cups, cause you're, you're feeling things out. You're feeling out like, who are your real friends right now? Who's your real family? You're, some of you could be feeling out like, hey, I'm trying this new creative thing right now. I'm getting back into writing. I'm getting back into painting. Um, how does this person feel about me? Like, ooh, eight of wands. Some of y'all could be talking to people online, um, networking. Very good. What's hidden from Taurus? What's hidden from you? We have the strength card with the moon. Um, strength card is card of Leo. Some of y'all could have a Leo hiding from you. Um, with the moon card, Pisces Cancer energy. Um, someone is going through a tough time overall um, and either they're not telling you or this is also your reading. You, Cause the strength card talks about like going through it. Like, man, I lost someone, I'm going through divorce or breakup or I'm sick or, you know, like some real tough, tough or some mental health stuff, like whatever. Everyone has pain as relative, suffering as relative. We shouldn't be suffering, but I feel like either you're going through a hard time with the moon card and like kind of keeping it as masked as like as secretive as possible and or there's someone around you, a partner, a, um, someone you work with, a friend, a romantic situation, someone also and or is, uh, is <laughs> and or is going through a really hard time as well and maybe they, I'm hearing the word burden, they don't want to burden you with their problems, Okay. Okay. Um, what are the hopes and fears for you? And then let's get an outcome. Hopes and fears for Taurus. Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is past life energy, parent, child, soulmate, very sweet, child, childlike, childhood energy, nostalgic. All with the Ace of Cups. Some of you maybe do um, like... Maybe like, maybe I do want kids. Maybe I do want another kid. Or maybe I do want, okay, a dog or a cat. Or I do want another dog or a cat. Like, some of you are maybe thinking about 
um, adding on to the family in one way or another or, um, or starting that for the first time. Six of Wands, Ten of Swords. And maybe for some of you that could be a fear. Maybe Three of Wands with your, with your focus card pushing something off. You're like, well, maybe for some of you, you're like, okay, my person's pregnant or you're pregnant or we're starting something um, or someone's going to adopt a, a cat or a dog or a baby. And you're like, uh, are we ready? Uh, are we ready? Uh. <laughs> so I do feel like there's like an addition to the family for a lot of you or an addition to something. Um, and that's definitely in the hopes and fears. Okay, what's the outcome here for Taurus? And then we'll clarify. Four of Cups in the Tower. Tower is Scorpio energy. With the Star card, which is Aquarius energy. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, Four of Cups with the Tower. This is a card of, all right, I'm just going to stay where I'm at. I'm not budging. It's very stubborn energy. I know Taurus, y'all, uh, and your shadow, your shadow traits, that's a big one where Taurians can, oh, they are so stubborn. Maybe yes, maybe no, other signs can be stubborn, but Four of Cups is a card of being stubborn of, nope, I'm not going to tell that person I like them. Nope, I'm not making the first move. Nope, I'm just going to stay here and stay not miserable, but just not as happy as I could be. Um, the Tower card, Star card, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles. For some of you, you might see success um, wins around you, like other people getting like great jobs or great opportunities or great something, marriages or relationships or houses or kids or I don't know, whatever the thing is. And you're just like, well, well with the four, four of cups, this is like you focusing on, well, I'm not crazy about my friend group, but uh, I guess they're not the worst. So I'll just like stay doing what I'm doing. Four of Cups is, is being, it, it, it's, it's recognizing that you're not as emotionally happy, satisfied with yourself here or with your relationship romantically or with your friend group or, or with what you do creatively. Singing, expression, art, fashion, like whatever your creative outlet is, okay? Four of Cups is saying, hey, I'm not really happy with what I have. But I'm not really willing to step out of my outside of my comfort zone e either. It is it, it is a little bit of a stubborn energy. Um, and again, with the Tower and the Star card, there there there, there could be oh nine of wands and ten of wands. There could be like one more chance, one more try at something. Like someone really trying to make something work one more time with you. You trying to make something work with someone or in a work situation one more time with them. Almost feels like an all or nothing situation. Let's see. Let's go deeper here. All right, Taurus. Let's go back to the beginning. Right now, you're looking good, looking pretty, looking handsome, looking gouges with the Empress. Very relaxed. Very relaxed. All right, I've already pre shuffled and cut your clarification deck just to save some time. We have the Queen of Pentacles again, bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Death, Rebirth, Knight of Swords, with this Strength card again. Hmm. Oh, y'all are playing hard to get for some of you. Like, and that could be hard to get, could be like with a friend group, with a romantic situation. There could be like a boss or a work situation where you're like, Okay, I've really been putting in the work and I deserve more money or I deserve that promotion. But okay, well, if you're not going to give it to me, then I'm just going to do the bare minimum. Then I'm just going to do my job and clock in, clock out and just do the bare minimum. Like you are kind of on purpose doing your little, mm, I see you. You are being cute. You're a little sassy over there, but being cute. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Why are you the Empress right now? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Mm. Uh, okay, these came out together in your pre-shuffle. That is for you, the Five of Cups with the Ten of Cups. So you have the Nine of Wands on the Empress with the Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. A lot of you are maybe 
Nine of Wands talks about burnout, like being up to here with a person, place, or situation. You're up to here for a lot of you with maybe like missing somebody. Um, a lot of you are like, and I know it's like getting into the holiday season. Like we just had, if you are living in the United States, we just had Thanksgiving um, yesterday. So it is that time of like the holidays and family and stuff. So it is a nostalgic feeling of man, like, you know, my mom's not around anymore. My dad's not around. I really, I really wish they were here. It's kind of that kind of vibe. Or maybe you're playing a role of, man, I'm always the one that has Thanksgiving at my house. Or man, I'm, I'm always the one that takes care of everyone's cup, 10 of cups. But who's taking care of my cup, five of cups. I feel like a lot of you are, are overall doing well. Um, like you have like a, a good job or you have a, a good family situation. You do have a lot of things to be grateful for, but at the same time, I am getting this like, man, I miss the good old days. I miss this certain person I used to be with, or I miss this, uh, this hometown I used to be a part of, or I miss, it's kind of like missing the good old days in one way or another. Um, and with the magician here, I feel like, um, just thing, things aren't how they used to be is what I'm getting from a lot of you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Some of you, the people that you love and miss right now could be at a distance. You could be traveling for work. They could be traveling. People maybe moved. Um, and you're like, man, I really miss the old times when we were all together. Or I miss when this person was around. Oh, I miss when so-and-so lived on the block and we would always blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't know. Like I'm getting almost like a very strong nostalgic energy even though you have i'm hearing developments you have your own beautiful developments in your own life you almost like wish that you could like like snap your fingers and go back to like you know a certain memory here and there oh as a pisces are gonna make me cry okay i just have to move on okay all right why is the two of wands uh crossing you taurus why is the two of wands here crossing Taurus, please? Thank you. So you have the Knight of Cups. That's our romantic knight, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy with the Ten of Wands. Uh, Queen of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you are a little bit closed off, like in the heart. Like maybe you're the one that's always like, like, hey, getting everyone together. Like come to my house for not just, doesn't have to be Thanksgiving, but hey, like maybe Taurus, you're always the one that's like, hey, friends, hey, whatever, everyone come to my house. Or I'm the one that, you know, y'all are the one that like puts things together and supports people. Um, and with the Ten of Wands, you're kind of tired of that. You're tired of wearing your heart on your sleeve with a certain person or with a certain group of people. Why is the Two of Wands? Yeah, Eight of Cups. That's exactly it with the World card. You're tired of, or for some of you, you might, you might have been waiting around for a while. You might have been like in a job setting, a living situation, a relationship. One of those, you, a lot, a lot of you have been in a situation where like, you know, you've maybe stayed a little longer than you should have. There's, there's no right or wrong, right? But it feels like you've maybe been somewhere a little longer than you wanted to be. Like, well, maybe they'll change. Well, maybe my relationship's not doing so well. And if I uh, I have an exit plan, I could move over to that apartment. And I don't want to, but, you know, I have a backup plan. But maybe if I just stick in a little bit longer, you know, me and my person will work out. Or if I just prove to my boss that, like, I do deserve that raise, you know. I have another job offer over there and over there. But, like, I really wanted things to work out over here. It's like that kind of energy, that conversation that I'm picking up from y'all. So it, it is hard to be like, well, I don't really want to leave, but I know that I'm not happy. And we always want to be making sure we're happy now. Not happy when I get not, when I get married. Not happy when I have the kids. Not happy when I'm the millionaire. Not happy when it's happy now, right? So I feel like you've, you've definitely, I'm hearing exhausted. You're like, I'm exhausted of, of being tired. I'm exhausted of being exhausted. I'm exhausted of waiting for other people to fill my cup when that's not what's happening in y'all's situation. Not that you don't have kids or relationship or nice friends or whatever people to fill your cup, 
but overall there's a big call for you to not wait on someone to fill up what you need for you to go ahead and move on and do what fills you up regardless whatever that means for you i hope that makes sense why is your focus the three of wands thank you spirit for these messages Yeah, I feel like you have made made a couple of uh, of moves recently. Like, hey, I am gonna do that. Hey, I, I am gonna go on that vacation. Hey, I am gonna maybe move over there. Like, you have put a couple, planted a couple seeds, put a couple of, uh, um, gotten a couple things rolling, a couple things moving. Okay, um, clarifying this, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Death Rebirth card, Scorpio energy. You have the two of wands again with the ten of swords with the king of swords. So I feel like a lot of you have had like that bright idea, that inspirational, ooh, I could do this. Ooh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about them. Da -da 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 -da. Very good. Wands energy. So I'm going to get you up off the couch and moving about something about your situation. Uh, but the focus here is the three of wands being stuck, pushing things off, procrastination energy. Well, why is that? Death, rebirth, two of wands, ten of swords. Well, maybe I, I, I don't want to move on too quick because I don't want to leave this person. Or I don't want to, like a lot of you have been not fully going after passionate, new, exciting people, opportunity situations because you were scared of leaving someone behind. You were scared that if you really left, what if they never said goodbye? What if you really did leave and no one really checked up on you? What if you really did leave and it was kind of quiet and cold after you left and leave, le after you went, on, went ahead and left? Like there's this, this kind of sticking around, and I say this with love, a lot of you may have been sticking around in a relationship, in a job setting, in a location, whatever it is, Kind of for other people to make sure you're not upsetting somebody else. So that's, you're, you've kind of been sacrificing yourself, right? So recent past, why is the world card here for Taurus? Why is the world card been here? Eight of swords, three of wands. Oh, you've wanted to move on from this for a while. You've been uncomfortable for a while. So the Eight of Swords came out, talking about the world card on the recent past. You've closed a cycle recently. Like no more what? No more thinking about Eight of Swords. It's like, I can't think about it all the time. I can't think about them all the time. I can't think about the job all the time. I can't think about the whatever it is all the time. You've been pushing it off, making excuses. We have the full card and the three of pentacles. What were you thinking about so much? Eight of swords, nine of cups, hermit moon card. It feels a little bit of like keeping yourself, I'm hearing like in confinement. I'm in no way, shape or form a medical professional or a mental therapist or mental professional in any capacity, but it feels a little bit of like depression vibes of like, well, I know I'm better than this, but I'm just going to stay on the couch today. I know that these people want to hear from me and I need to show up to work or show up for my friend group or show up for this meeting or show up for whatever, whatever, but I don't want to. And it's because it's because whatever you're when you're I don't want to and you go back into I don't want to, it's your inner child coming out. They're saying the full card is like your inner child coming out being like. Because there's other things that you're involved in, people, people, places, or situations. There's other things that you're involved in that are not filling your cup. So when you rebel, when you push things off, if you will, you're actually satisfying your inner child. So it feels a little bit messed up of like, I, I'm putting off this, I'm putting off that so that I can, I say, I'm saying staying on the couch, AKA doing whatever it is that you want that day. You know, going to the park or hanging out with your friends instead of whatever, whatever. It, some of you, it's gotten you a little bit in trouble. Um, but overall, you've been satisfying your inner child because whoever or whatever you're around hasn't been helping you satisfy the inner child for yourself. Ooh, 
that was a lot. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. Okay. Why the king of swords crowning you? Why is the king of swords crowning you? Very good. We have the judgment card, the empress, divine feminine, you and Libra, knight of wands with the devil. Exactly. A lot of you are mentally very, doing very well. Like maybe someone else is really hard on you, like a boss, a partner, a parent, I don't know, someone. And they're like, I'm getting like a nagging at you all the time. Society's expectations, that thing as well. And you're like, you know what? I am doing really well. Empress, you're like, I am a mom or I am a dad or I do take care of my stuff. I do run my own business. I do, I do my stuff. Like I'm getting a lot of you, you're like, I work hard and I play hard. Like get it. I love it. So you're kind of giving yourself like a break mentally because I feel so much better now that we're in the mental energy. You're giving yourself permission or a break to kind of do whatever it is that you want to do because whoever's like in your ear barking at you expectations um is not if they're not paying your bills paying your bills paying your rent you know doing all the, all the things for you then i don't see why they have a right to be burp, 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 telling you what to do you know all right why is judgment here in the near future for taurus what is this about judgment? I'm hearing it's a recall. Oh shit, there is, okay. Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Chariot card of Cancer, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles under that. So a lot of you, there is gonna be like a recall. Like someone could be, and we are in Mercury retrograde, so it could be like an old, like an ex. It could be an old friend, an old family member, an old job opportunity company, something that's like there's been some distance between you and this person or group of people. The King of Swords in this deck has two swords, meaning you could either go back to that person, place, or situation, or stay moving forward and keeping your distance. Um, what if they go back to the person, Queen of Wands, what if they keep moving forward? Three of swords. A lot of you are tempted to feel something else out again. Like, hey, okay, old friend, let's work it out. Okay, maybe X is back. If you don't want to deal with your ex, don't please don't yell at me about it. Just don't do it. You know, it doesn't always have to be about the ex. It could be that long lost family member that y'all haven't talked in five, 10, 15 years. And it's like, okay, well, let's try one more time. Like, let's work it out. Okay. Like a lot of you will feel... I'm hearing lean in. You will you will want to lean in for a lot of you into revisiting um, an old connection, an old opportunity, um, because someone does see your worth now. Okay. Ooh! Two of Cups came out. And it's about a person for a lot of you. I mean, come on. All right, what's this page of swords about? Two of Cups. Or no, I'm sorry, that was the one I thought. What's this page of swords about for Taurus, please? We have the four of swords, ace of swords, page of swords, strength card. Yeah, a lot of you are taking like communication uh, with somebody, um, re like talking to the ex again, um, opening up to that family member, or like maybe you and your one of your parents have been kind of off and on for a while. Because whatever it is in the, in the recent past, you've closed it off. You said, no, I'm not dealing with that person. No, I'm not going. I would never go back to that job. Nope. Like you've told yourself, nope, I'm never doing it again. Well, it's on your mind still. It's in your energy. A lot of you are finding out either Page of Swords. You're finding out good things about this person or they're finding out good things about you. Um, or again, with a strength card here, you're finding out if someone wasn't, I'm not on their team. I'm not making excuses for them, but maybe for a lot of you, you are willing to start talking up and having a conversation, um, again with an ex, an old friend, an old family member, an old boss, an old someone 
because you're finding out, man, they really were going through a hard time. Man, they were dealing with an addiction situation. Man, they were taking care of, you know, their kids or this parent or this thing. I didn't realize how much they were going through um, when I was around this person at the time and or vice versa. Someone could be realizing, oh man, Taurus, I'm sorry I was kind of short with you um, because I didn't realize that you uh, were taking care of all these people or I didn't realize that you had all this responsibility on your plate. It's like you and someone probably finding out about how much I'm hearing strife, challenge, difficulty you each were going through at a different time um, from the past, okay? Uh, what's up with the strength card hidden from Taurus, please? Why is this hidden? Lovers. Oh my God. Nine of Swords, Page of Cups, King of Cups. Now we've got the water coming in. The Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio family. With the Lovers card, Gemini, which is, um, you know, Lovers card is a divinely guided opportunity or person coming in. You, like basically whatever's hidden from you a lot of you it's like a person who still really likes you who still really crushes on you who's still interested in you who still values you and or you still value them like it could be look it looks like it could look like on your side you telling your friends and family like oh yeah um i don't care about that person anymore no i i don't talk to my ex anymore oh yeah that crush no there's nothing there mm, no no but secretly you're like, oh, I still like look at that person's photos or think about them or you and someone still missing each other. Yeah, you do. Why the six of cups, hopes and fears? We have the High Priestess. We have the Devil, card of Capricorn, with the Three of Swords, Star card, Seven of Cups. Some of you, again, um, if it's about like children or kids or adopting or adding on to the family um, or like, like having a, a child for the first time or adding on to the family, a lot of you are like, man, I don't know if I would be a good parent. I'm scared to be a parent or I'm scared to whatever, whatever. Um, this hasn't worked out for me before. So some of you are scared um, to open yourself up to being a parent or adding on to the family or, or reconnecting with an, that old friend or family member or ex or whatever because you have been hurt in this department before. But also with a star card at the bottom of the deck, there's also a lot of like, but what if it did work out this time? What if, what if because I've changed, what if I can believe that they've changed? There's a lot of like belief energy here, which I think is beautiful. All right, why the Four of Cups on the outcome for Taurus, please? Why is the Four of Cups here in the outcome? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Strength card out again, card of Leo with the Four of Pentacles. Why the Four of Cups? Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. Tower, Four of Cups. Who's this Two of Cups? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. There is someone, a family member, a relationship, somebody who they really do make you happy. You make them happy. Y'all both might have similar like strength card. Y'all both, both might have very similar um, like stories. Um, I'm not, I don't love the word trauma bonding because we don't want to do that. But I feel like you and this person or you and this old boss or you and this old family member, whoever this is, I feel like y'all have Ace of Pentacles, something to learn from this experience. Nine of Cups, y'all can choose to be, um, I'm hearing like a silver lining. You can choose to like make it work or not, but it's up for you to be happy here. I do feel for a lot of you, this is about, because we have two towers here, like unexpectedly, unexpectedly I'm hearing reintroducing like re-meeting re-bumping into reintroducing yourself um to someone two of cups who feel they this person feels like home to you or the job feels like home to you cups if it's not that it's a it's a creative thing like like if you play an instrument 
Like you're like, that feels like home to me when I play that instrument. Whatever the person plays or situation is, you can't help it. They just feel like home to you. That's what I'm getting. I love y'all so much. I've missed y'all. I'm on my slow little comeback here. Thank you all for your patience. <clears throat> Let's do the pick a card and those of you that want to join us for the love reading. That's the first link in the description box below. And the Taurus that won the pick a card this time is Xavier Williams. Xavier, you are my winner. Okay, so Taurus, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel or leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for everything. I'll see y'all in the love reading or next time. Bye. Xavier, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I'm super grateful for you. Spirit, what do we have going on for Xavier? Xavier Williams. Um, Taurus energy, please. I'm starting to laugh. Maybe you're like funny or you're a comedian or you're laughing right now. I don't know. Spirit, what do we have for Xavier? Or it could be Javier, either way. Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. Um, Three of Swords, Moon card, you're learning about... I feel like you got your heart broken recently or you went through... You might have lost somebody. If you lost somebody, I'm really sorry. It's something you love. You're learning about your heartache, heartbreak. Um, I feel like something happened a little bit unexpectedly, like you didn't see a breakup coming, you didn't see someone leaving your life, and Page of Pentacles, you're like, why? Why did that happen? Um, you're very much in like a, I want to know, like you're trying to learn a lesson from a hard, ex from a hard experience. All right, thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Xavier? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. Okay, you have the nine of pentacles, very single, ready to mingle, doing well, work for yourself, or you make, you know, good money, you're financially responsible. Devil came out, card of Capricorn with a seven of swords. Like, that means, like, you, like you're either well off, like, financially, and you know it. Um, You're, like, very attractive, and you know it. You have some kind of like status or that's where the grin is coming from. Like, you know, you have something like, or, you know, you have a way with something like you have something and you, you're like, and you know it. Okay. I knew it was okay. I could feel that. Yeah. Okay. Two of cups. There's a, a connection here. You like somebody Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Is a soulmate connection. And then we have Justice that came out. Card of Libra. Something could be coming official. Um, your card's at the bottom of the deck. Taurus's card. The Hierophant with the Empress. Both of your cards. Oh my God. With the Knight of Pentacles. There's like a long-term, steady, probably relationship. Like maybe you're getting engaged. Getting engaged to somebody. Or if you've been on in, uh, in friend zone with someone. Y'all could be like officially together soon. Um, there's someone that you like pretend like, no, I don't like them. I don't like them. No, no, but you do. Or no, no, I'm not good at this. I, I'm not good at this instrument. No, I'm not good at this thing, but you really are. Like, you know, you really like something or someone, or you're really talented at something and you kind of try to pretend like you're not, but you are. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. You also are in the public eye to some degree, like, um, you could be a teacher, you, like people look up to you in your community. Okay. Let's get two on each. Why are you the nine of pentacles? Like you're happy that you can give to other people. Like you make other people happy when you walk in the room. Like, yay, Javier's here. Um, like you might like buy everyone a drink or like, even just like, I'm, I'm just saying there's, and they're saying like your smile 
or your aura, like people are like, yes, you're here, your friends, your family, like whatever door you walk in at work, like you, and you love to give to your people. You love to give to your friends, family, community. Um, very good. you that's a very, very beautiful energy. Why, why the devil here for Javier, please? Why the devil? Um, you're getting frustrated that something's not working out. Queen of Pentacles on that. Seven of seven, seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. You've been waiting on something in particular for a long time. Um, like I feel like you've checked off a lot of boxes in your life, but there's one box that you want really bad that just hasn't happened yet. And you've been waiting for it, you've invested in it, and it's just like it hasn't happened yet. Why the Seven of Swords for Javier, please? Why the Seven of Swords? So yeah, you might have two queens. You have the hots for someone or for two people. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess. So like you could be um, in a relationship with um, two different people, two different queens. They don't have to be females. Um... Like you could have someone that you're attracted to um, and then be with someone at work or have like a family with somebody. Like one person is more of that you're with or attracted to um, is one's more of a motherly kind of nurturer vibe and one is like just smoking hot. All right, what's up with the two of cups here for Javier, please? What's up with the two of cups? So we have the Three of Cups, uh oh, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. I feel like um, if you are in a third party, this is saying that it's going to come to light. Like if you are entertaining two people romantically or dating two people, I feel like that will come to light. And like you could be the one, um, not with either one of them at the end of the day. And or it's like time for you to make a choice. If like you know, if you don't want that, it's time for you to make a choice. <laughs> Why justice? Yeah, page of pentacles, ace of swords, the full card, page of wands. Why the hierophant, hermit, ten of wands, nine of cups. Like you could be married to someone and have like something that you like on the side. I'm not saying that you are cheating or third party. But justice, what's doing the right thing is you learning that you need like a clean slate with someone that you're dealing with. Um, let me see the full card for you. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Hermit. This is about you like learning to be comfortable with healthy boundaries and around healthy people. So I kind of feel like you have played it off really well that you either have two people or have had two people for a long time. Um, you've had a little something, something up your sleeve for a while. Eventually what the cards are saying, it's going to catch up to you. Either the people, like all parties are going to find out, um, that could really screw you over in this situation. Um, and I honestly, with justice in the full card, the right thing that you might be learning to do is to set both things free. Yeah. All right, love, um, I hope this helped. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love video next time. Bye.